When navigating throughout an application, a very common scenario is to provide logic that determines if the user is even allowed to navigate in the first place. It may be as simple as showing a dialogue asking the user to save before they move on to the next page, or it may be some type of login process. Either way, you have to have control over the navigation flow in your application. Hi, I'm Brown Lagunas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can confirm or prevent navigation from occurring in your Prism for Xamarin.Forms application. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Infragistics, fast and beautiful UI controls and time-saving tools for developers and UX pros. They really do provide the fastest path to amazing experiences. If you're looking for the fastest grids and charts on the market, or just looking for some new modern components to spruce up your application, look no further. Give Infragistics a try. Open up your favorite web browser, navigate to bit.ly slash prism infragistics, and tell them that Prism sent you. The more people that use this link, the more videos that I get to record. So let's give Infragistics a big thank you, visit their site, and check out their products. The application we're working with today is a simple Xamarin Forms application. This application is made up of two views, a main page and a view A. Each of these views are identical. Each has a label that binds to a title property and each has a button that binds to a navigate command. When the app first starts up, we will navigate to a navigation page and push the main page as the first page on that navigation stack. What we want to accomplish is when we navigate from the main page to view A, we want to prevent navigation from occurring. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app as it's running. Here's the emulator running our application. When I hit the navigate to view A, it will navigate to view A. We have our software back button and we also have the go back method being called on view a view model. So like I said, our goal for today is when I click this button, I want to be able to control whether or not we are allowed to navigate to view a. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Confirming or preventing navigation in a Prism application is extremely easy. Inside of our main page view model, we are simply going to implement the I confirm navigation interface. Now this interface will provide us with a single method that returns a Boolean called can navigate. So just for fun, let's go ahead and return false on this method. And we will rerun our application. Now that application is running, when I click the navigate to view A button, the expectation is that we will not be able to navigate. So I click the button and nothing happened. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this to true, meaning I am allowed to navigate and run the application again. Okay, the application's running. I'm gonna navigate to view A and we are allowed to navigate to view A. Pretty easy. So this means that within the can navigate method, you provide your own custom logic to determine if a user is allowed or not allowed to navigate within the application. However, this is a synchronous operation. And in Xamarin Forms, we deal a lot with async operations. So for example, let's say that our requirement is we need to actually prompt the user with some type of save dialog. And that dialog is gonna be shown async. So what we can do is let's delete this implementation and let's implement the I confirm navigation async interface. What we have here is a method called can navigate async. And if you notice, we are returning a task of bool. So let's go ahead and change this to let's return the page dialog service dot display alert. And I'm just gonna say my title, save. We need our accept button and a cancel button. So now what we're doing is we're returning the result of this dialog that the user chooses either accept or cancel. Let's go ahead and run the application. The application is running. So now I'm going to navigate to view A. We are prompted with our dialog. You know, do we want to save yes or no? Let's go ahead and accept. We are allowed to navigate to view A. Let's go ahead and go back. We're going to navigate to view A again, but let's see what happens when we click the cancel button. We do not navigate to view A because the cancel response was entered. However, if I enter accept, 
we return true from the can navigate async and we navigate to the next page. Now I wanna point out a very common scenario, but a limitation as well. Let's go into the view a view model and let's implement I confirm navigation. So here we're going to return false, meaning whenever we hit the go back button, we are not going to be allowed to navigate. So let's run the application. So we're gonna to navigate to view A, yes. Now I'm on view A, now I'm gonna hit the go back to main page. And because we're returning false from can navigate, we will not be able to go back. However, if I use the software or hardware buttons, that entire process is bypassed. And that's because Xamarin Forms does not expose a common API that Prism can use to call this method. So keep that in mind when you're trying to control the navigation process going back because Prism cannot prevent a software or hardware back button from going back. And that's it. That's how easy it is for you to provide custom logic to determine if a user can or cannot navigate within your Prism application. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when more videos like this are published. Thanks for watching.